What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back here again with another video. And today we're gonna check out the best moments from every takeover from 2019. Um, takeovers are always a special event and NXT has always made it a priority to make sure those takeover events were special. One thing I, I liked about takeover and I still like about takeover is the fact that you only get a few a year. It's not like the main roster where there's a pay-per-view every month or, you know, sometimes two pay-per-views in one month. You literally got a few a year. It made them feel special. The crowds at NXT TakeOver events were just lively and energetic. They gave me the feel of a Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania for every single TakeOver event. And if you saw my... Um, thoughts and opinions on takeover 30 one of the things i said um that's very noticeable now is since there isn't really much of a crowd at these takeover events now it doesn't feel the same it doesn't have that same excitement as it used to because there's really no crowd i mean there's people in the crowds but it's not the same as a just 15,000 20,000 people just going insane chanting for whoever they like booing for whoever they don't like it, it was it's always a good atmosphere so we're gonna check out some of the best moments from 2019 I appreciate all the love and support man road to 30k let's get into the video man also I want you guys to take time out of your day to Go subscribe to this dude's channel. Uh, I know it probably took him a while to get the clips and everything to just compile them together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to link this video down in the description. And I'm also going to pin the dude's uh, channel. So definitely show this guy some love. It's a long video too, so. Strap on in. NXT TakeOver Phoenix. NXT TakeOver New York. NXT TakeOver Toronto. Some good takeovers, man. Some good, good takeovers, man. The undisputed era of his partner, Hanson, and slamming in the strength of... This was a good match, too. This was a pretty good match. Hold on, fellas. Hold on. Hold on. Big move to the face. My man's was, is just athletic. When I seen them first do that move, Joe, I was just like, "Yo, this is they. They are the next. They're the next tag team up, man. They, they're the next ones." That's a lot of weight. That's three hundred. Oh my goodness, yo. Look at this, dog. Like you. Someone that big should not be able to do that. Look how lively the crowd is for this match. Mm -hmm. They became champs. Lesson from last time. Oh, sleeper suplex by. Wow. <sighs> Can we have a moment of silence in the chat for Ricochet? You guys remember when Ricochet was actually like important on WWE television? You guys remember where Ricochet was just this fantastic entertaining individual that could actually win matches with his aerial abilities like I, I missed that ricochet and then he went to the main roster and just his his mystique just went away just he became a jobber in my opinion like he, he never really regained the type of buzz he got in NXT. RP Ricochet, man. You were so great in NXT. Look at this, man. Bro, 
that right there, that, that's the ricochet I know. My man's landed on his feet and the crowd lost it, bro. And he did it so smooth. We gotta go back. Look at this. Look at this. North American title and spring. Oh. Like boom, I believe oh. Johnny was a heel at this point. Yeah, Johnny. Bro, look at this, dude. I'm. I want to say Johnny was a heel at this point. This was a fantastic match. Oh my, this is fantastic match. <laughs> Yeah, he was definitely a heel at this point. This is where Baszler. You see that he was he was transitioning into a heel at this point. He was starting to transition into that heel like Johnny that we have now. King skills. Ah. I miss, momentarily. Oh, I miss this dominant Alistair Black too. Jesus. Oh my gosh, bro. And Moro are now on commentary. Fantastic, man. He's the, to be honest with you, after JR left, you know, just commentary in general. I mean, commentary hadn't really been the same but i will say the one thing about moral ronaldo is he's going to give you the energy he's going to make whatever's happening in that ring that ring just bigger than life and we definitely need more commentators to like bring that feel and i feel like moral ronaldo is the best that wwe has right now in my opinion commentary wise he made the takeovers just that better. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. I re got I'm getting goosebumps now because this is when Johnny started to embrace the hate as they say the, the, his evil side oh my god bro i'm getting goosebumps just looking at this image johnny the north american champion tomaso champa the nxt champion oh oh my god This was a good match too, man. Just This just was so good, man. They were all four of these wrestlers were just fantastic before they went to the main roster, bro. Oh my god. Uh, look at this. <laughs> Bro, look how strong he is. <laughs> no, this is so good, bro. This is so, this is so good, man. Oh my God, this is so good. Look at Oh my Jesus All that weight That's a lot of weight <laughs> Did you see the height on that NXT man This is right when they uh, uh Was heading to the main roster bro 
I'd cry to Ricochet because after that, you was never the same. This was a good match, too. Good. This is bringing back so many memories, man. <sighs> I miss the crowds. I miss you guys at these events. You made the show so fantastic. Look at... Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> oh my Jeez Oh my gosh <laughs> This was a hard hitting match Very stiff Very stiff Very powerful Impactful <laughs> Bro look Bro, Jesus, man. <laughs> Bro, that's a lot of goddamn weight. This was a fantastic match, too. This is, in my opinion, when the women's division was still doing fairly well. After Oscar had left, after Bailey gone, after, you know, the main, like, the main women that kind of really brought the women's revolution to the forefront. These women right here was carrying the torch very well, man. Very well in the women's division. Ready to do something else. <laughs> Fantastic. Easily, this match right here, one of the best matches in NXT history. One of the best matches, main event matches in NXT, bro. Cole comes off the run. One of the best, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> oh my god. This match, man. Oh. Bro, this is so good. Great storytelling. You didn't know legit who was going to win this match. It could have went anywhere. Like, it could have went either way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm getting goosebumps rewatching this. Bro. Oh, my God. Bro, the crowd is standing up at this point. Oh my goodness. Match is not over. They're standing up. One of the Like this this is how you book and tell a story of the baby face overcoming the odds. This gives me the Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania 30 vibes. He overcame the odds. He beat the authority. They were throwing everything at him and he still came out on top. As the champ, bro. Oh, this is great. This is so great. He kicked out. I lost it. Bro, he kicked out. I'm, it's just bringing back so many memories. Look at the crowd. He kicked out. I lost my mind. I'm getting goosebumps. Right now, as we're recording it, there's not many times I get goosebumps from watching wrestling clips. This is one of these matches I will never forget. The man kicked. I thought it was over. He kicked out. I'm like, yo, I don't, 
I don't even, I'm, bro, I'm speechless now, and I know the outcome of this. And Adam Cole's selling it. Wrestling in the Air Jordan 13s. Ball for it. The height on that. This was a good women's wrestling match, too. Very good. <laughs> this was good. This was so good. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> he was just giving people knees. And he's breaking back in Toronto. Also struck in matchup. Beautiful triangle. Woo. 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 This is so good. Oh, man, bro. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> this was good, too. It wasn't better than their first one, in my opinion. Their first, uh, their first matchup. But this was on par, bro. This was so good. You knew Adam, in my opinion, I knew Adam Cole was winning. One of the best matches. Oh, man. When we when see Adam Cole and Johnny Gargano in the ring, you're going to get you a, a fantastic match. Oh, it's a carry by Cole. Kick from Stead, Sunset, Drive. Oh, Can't carry his weight. Oh, timing. What's, what, Adam Cole? And it's crazy because Adam Cole was a heel. But people wanted him to win this match. Yeah, people wanted him to win this match. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Mauro Ronaldo. Mama Mia. <laughs> oh my jeez. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus, just insane. Look at that. The undisputed era attacking. No, present what best I am. Oh, ho, ho, ho. bro, that spot, Kyle O'Reilly, bro, man, RP to his back, he caught the edge of that coming down, you can't fake that pain, he was legit riding in pain, let's, let's go back to that spot, look, just look at the way he falls on it, oh my, he's, oh my god, you can't fake that, I know that hurt. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just insane. Oh, so fantastic. The one thing I've always liked about NXT is they know how to place their matches. And it's usually a tag team match or some sort of singles match that always gets the crowd hyped for the rest of the show. They usually have great match placement. And I feel like pay-per-views, you have to really know how to place the matches where they belong at. Because you place a match like this at the beginning of the show, it sets the tone for everything else. It gets people hyped for the rest of the show. And NXT... Always knows how to just when it comes to booking their takeovers, they 
they kill it on the match placements. <laughs> oh my. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bro, they are beating the hell out of him. <laughs> Street Profits doing their thing, went to the main roster, went the same. Oh man, bro, that just that just brought back so many great memories, man. NXT take over. All of them from last year, the year before last, year before last. Like, they're just special, special events. And the crowd always make those shows so much better. It's always a situation when there's a takeover and then there's a main roster pay-per-view. Nine times out of ten, that main roster pay-per-view will not even come close to how good the takeover is. Now, in my opinion, since things are a little bit different, crowns aren't really there, the main roster pay-per-views actually sometimes, in my opinion, be a little bit better than the TakeOver specials. So, But hopefully things can get back to normal soon and we can get back to the glorious crowds being at these TakeOver events. But I just want to say... Thank you so much for all the love and support on this channel. And comment down your favorite TakeOver, NXT TakeOver from last year. From just this video alone, comment down your favorite NXT TakeOver, man. Let me know. I love you guys so much. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 30K. Appreciate y'all. Kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.